When Joey Green was working for an advertising firm, he had to come up with ideas using iced tea. Well, most people would have just said that iced tea is a refreshing drink for a sunny day. Not Joey Green, who discovered that iced tea is also great for sunburn pain. It's just one of over a thousand of his magic health remedies. Take a look. Joey Green is a walking encyclopedia of wacky yet ingenious uses for brand name products. He says most ailments and minor injuries can be treated at home using products in your cupboard. In his book, Magic Health Remedies, Joey shows you what popular products can do double duty as simple, affordable treatments. Well, Joey Green's with us now, and Joey, welcome back. Thank to the you. It's such a pleasure Park. to be here. Listen, I want to talk about the things in your book, and we're going to get to some specifics in a moment, but over a thousand remedies? How did you discover these things? A lot of research, Terry. Uh, medical journals, uh, contacting the companies, uh, People email me at my website, and these are just great ways that you can save a lot of time and money with brand name products that you already have at home. Yeah. So instead of running to the doctor's office or instead of running to the drugstore, doing your copay. <laughs> exactly. I call this affordable health care because <laughs> yeah. it's great tips, again, to save you time and money. Well, you have all kinds of products we're going to look at today, but I'm wondering you know these things because you've researched it. Do the people who manufacture these products actually know that they have a secondary benefit, or are they just selling? The product and they're good with that. Usually they're just selling the product and they're good with that and uh, sometimes they do know but this is just amazing stuff that people in the military have discovered you know because it's really? you know, American ingenuity and it's just using what you have available. It's also it's stuff your grandmother would have told you about yeah. and then we all say well there's a product for that grandma I get with the program <laughs> but these are tip tips that actually do work. Yeah. We were at, at home last night I was going through this book with my daughter who's very into health and nutrition and things and we were just having one aha moment after another as we read through this. Do you have a favorite of all the things that you've discovered? There are so many of them. And actually, when we run through them, I'll point out some okay, of my favorites to great. you. Well, you've brought all kinds of things with you, and let's show people some of this amazing information. You want to start down here? Yeah, well, we were talking about that. You were talking about the Nest Tea. And, uh, you know, if you get sunburn pain, you're badly sunburned, yes. you're in a lot of pain. I mean, you'll do almost anything to get out of that pain. And one thing you can do that really works is grab Nest Tea, a whole jar of the powdered mix, empty the powdered mix, the entire jar, into your bathtub. Fill it with cool water really? and then soak in it. It's the tannin from the tea that relieves sunburn Steam. pain. Exactly. Ah. So it's literally taking the nest tea plunge. I don't know if that's what they meant by the advertising <laughs> slogan, but it really does work for, net, for, for pain like that's that. That's awesome. And you've got mustard next to yeah. that. This was a surprise to me. French's mustard. Now, a lot of short order cooks know this tip because, you know, they're working in the kitchens really fast and they burn mm -hmm. themselves. They grab the mustard. They squeeze it on the burn on their hand. It immediately stops the burning pain. Now, what is it in the mustard? That it's the, the vinegar uh, and uh, the turmeric in the, in the mustard, the mustard seed, and it just relieves the burning pain. Also, if you've got a bad chest, cold. You don't have any Vicks Vapor Rub. You're in bed. Just take French's mustard, squeeze it on your chest, rub it in just like it was Vicks Vapor Rub. Cover it with a wet washcloth. It's something Grandma would have told you about. It's an old-fashioned really? mustard plaster. Because of the mustard. Wow. Absolutely. That's fascinating. Well, you, next to that, you have we have the Vicks Vapor Rub. Speaking of Vicks Vapor Rub, you can also use Vicks Vapor Rub if you get insect bites. Um, any stings on your body, a little dab of Vicks Vapor Rub. It's the the uh, menthol, the eucalyptus. Does it take the itch as well as the sting? Up? It takes the itch and the sting away, and it numbs really? the pain. Also, uh, if you want to repel mosquitoes, take the Vicks Vapor Rub, slather it on your arms, on your legs. Mosquitoes hate the smell of Vicks Vapor Rub. Also, people hate the smell of Vicks Vapor Rub. So it keeps away might... pesky neighbors, in-laws, door-to-door salespeople. No you know. bugs, but no friends either. Right? Yeah, two two tips for the price of one there. Okay. Uh, if you have back pain, you're suffering from back pain. Now, normally you go to the drugstore, you can buy the capsaicin cream. It's quite pricey. You can actually make it yourself with Tabasco pepper sauce. Really? And all you need are two tablespoons of used Crisco all vegetable shortening. It's all natural. Uh, the shortening, and then one quarter teaspoon of Tabasco pepper sauce. Mix it together together like I've got in this little bowl here, you've made your own capsaicin cream for just the price of And you rub Crisco. that on your back? You rub that just like a salve on really? your back and the capsaicin in the Tabasco Ooh. sauce really, it numbs the pain of the nerves in the back, uh, neck pain, knee pain, wherever your pain is. You can just make it at home. You will be sleeping alone that night. <laughs> <laughs> Quite possibly. Yeah. Uh, also with the Crisco All Vegetable Shortening, this is wonderful for preventing wrinkles. Before you go to bed at night, just a dab of uh, Crisco All Vegetable Shortening. Rub it on your face just like a moisturizing cream. Yeah. A lot of women swear by it. it. Again, it's all natural soybean oil and cottonseed oil, an all natural moisturizer. That's funny you should admit. My grandmother had some kind of a concoction that had a, a nice smell to it, but it was very 
much like, like this like that shortening. she took makeup off with and things oh, like absolutely. that. Absolutely, removes makeup. Also, you can prevent diaper rash. Now, normally, if you're trying to prevent diaper rash, you're using Bomex, mm -hmm. Desitin, Vaseline. Right. And why you'd want to put Vaseline on a baby's butt is kind of beyond me. It's petroleum jelly. It's like spraying your baby's butt with WD-40. If you want an all-natural way to prevent diaper rash, I just happen to have a little baby here, so I can show you how this works. You just take the Crisco, like so, and simply butter the baby's buns. <laughs> You might want to use a little less than this at home, but it's an all-natural way to prevent diaper rash. And it really, truly does work. Again, less than this at home. You might not want to cook with the same container you use for the baby. Well, as long as you're using the spatula, you're okay. okay. Now, diarrhea is a problem. Now, normally, to prevent diarrhea or to, to cure diarrhea, you go to the drugstore. Again, you're yes. buying some expensive medications. All you need, coconut, flaked coconut, two teaspoons of flaked coconut, eat the coconut, it stops diarrhea. And this was actually uh, in a medical journal in 2010 in the Journal of Ethnopharmacology. They did a study and found that coconut extract was just as effective as medications in curing diarrhea really? in rats. And how you find rats with diarrhea, I'm not quite sure, <laughs> but it really does. I've tried this at home. It absolutely works. It's quite amazing. Very inexpensive. Wow. It's just coconut. It's that healthy. Is it's coconut. fabulous. Well, I'm thinking for people who have IBS or, you know, colitis or something, that might be a real plus. Yeah, and I thought you want to you do it a couple of times, you know, see if it works for you, you know, before you go to the doctor. If you have something serious, right. then you, of course, you want to go to a doctor. Right. Uh, migraine Love headaches. This. Yeah, migraine Love headaches this. a big problem. I don't know if you suffer from migraines. I don't, but I have children who do. Yeah, my, my daughter does as well. And the solution to, my, to migraine headaches to help cure them, dole pineapple. Now, it can be the, the pineapple rings, just one serving of pineapple once or twice a day. Bromelain, the active enzyme in pineapple, seems to do the trick. And uh, you, can, you can also just drink a glass of pineapple juice, whatever uh -huh. works for so you. the juice would work, too. The juice would work, too. It's quite a an amazing thing. Unbelievable. Okay. Now, smokers, if you're a smoker at home, and I hope you're not, nope. but if you, if you are, you need to quit smoking to your health. And the problem with quitting smoking is the first week, the nicotine yeah. cravings. People really struggle. It's really difficult. Mm -hmm. And the nicotine cravings, the reason you get the nicotine cravings, a, a smoker is trying to quit, is because smoking depletes your body of vitamin C and potassium. So what you do is when you quit smoking for the first week, first 30 days, pour yourself a glass of orange, orange juice. juice. I've got a glass of Minute Maid orange juice here. And then add one half teaspoon of cream of tartar. I've got McCormick cream of tartar. And you just mix that up in the orange juice and then just drink the glass of orange juice. What this does is the orange juice replaces the vitamin C in your body. The cream of tartar replaces the potassium in the, in the body. So it reduces the nicotine cravings, making it easier for you to quit smoking. And just no do this every kidding. night for the first 30 days. And does this cover the taste of the cream of tartar? Yeah, so you won't taste the cream of tartar. That works. It's, okay. really, it's really quite <laughs> remarkable and a great way to quit That's smoking. That's amazing. That's amazing. Now, if you're suffering from dandruff at home, uh, if you've got dandruff, a way to stop dandruff is with Miracle Whip. In fact, I think that is the miracle of Miracle Whip. And what you do is you take the Miracle Whip and just rub it through your hair, nice thick coat of Miracle Whip. Mm -hmm. And you want, Now, the thing is you want to let it sit in your hair for two hours. So what you do is you take some saran wrap, wrap it around your uh -huh. head, you know, above your eyes, nose, the, or a shower yeah. cap, uh -huh. and then you just want to tune into the 700 Club for your you know, time to yeah. let it sit in the hair. <laughs> and what this does is that the oil and the vinegar in the Miracle Whip moisturizes the skin, it kills the bacteria or fungus that's causing the dandruff, the dandruff and it also place. simultaneously conditions your hair. So you don't need these expensive shampoos or medications, just Miracle Whip. Now I plug this, so we got to get to this one. This is an amazing, amazing, I guess, remedy you'd call it yeah. for? For smelly feet. Who knew? Uh, who knew? <laughs> uh, Jello, you can use if you can just make it up according to the directions. Put it like in a Rubbermaid container or a Tupperware, you know, Tupperware uh -huh. container. Soak your feet in the Jello for just you know five, ten minutes. The uh, gelatin clogs the pores, works just like an antiperspirant to stop the sweating of the feet. And it's you know, you can use any flavor that you want. You can also just use soap and water to clean your feet, so but it, everything's more fun with Jello. Depend, <laughs> it depends on what color you want your feet to be. Right? And also, you can also you can put it in a spray bottle, just the liquid Jello, and use it as an antiperspirant in a real pinch. Awesome. Well, that is an amazing answer. These, this is all. Everything Joey and I are talking about is in his book. It has great tips. It's called Magic Health Remedies, available in stores nationwide. It's not just a uh, really healthy and informative read. It's a fun read. So get a hold of it. Thank you, Joey, so Thank much. Thank you so great much. Great to Harry. have you with us. Thank you. Uh, that over to you.
Terry, are you going to put that miracle whip on your hair? Will you come well, to the show with it? I don't have dandruff, but oh, I guess okay. if I wanted to moisturize my hair, I'd think of doing that. Yeah. I want to ask Joey one question. Why do you, are you called Joey? You look like you ought to be Joseph or something. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank so you, much Pat. more <laughs> distinguished than that. Joey's a teenager. He's named like some gang member in Brooklyn. Well, uh, the, the way I figured it, uh, Pat, is that uh, my, I was named, jo uh, named at birth Joseph, and my mother saw this little baby, and she just couldn't bring herself to call the little baby Joseph. And then, you know, when Jimmy Carter became president, I figured if he can call himself Jimmy, Jimmy and be president, then I can stick with Joey. Exactly. Okay. Well, well, we'll vote for you for president. There's some great stuff. The, pe <laughs> the people would Thank rather you, have you than a politician, I'll tell you. Thank <laughs> you, Pat. <laughs> the wonderful stuff. I'm telling you, it's amazing.